B mark. Angela Sight. Come in. If there's an opportunity for humor, I'm going to grab it. That's one of the things I want to see. I want to watch a character who has the proper chutzpah to do things that I would never do. Chuck it then? Yes. Before okay. I say the lie. How do you come up with someone like Philip? He kind of was born out of watercolor that I had done. That guy's face was the inspiration. That's what I saw in my head. And then, you know, you put a voice to him and backstory, and add the ingredients and stir it up and see what you come up with. That's the part of the process that I love, is the exploration and the dig. You know, you're trying to find these parts and piece them together. And I'll read the script first time and I'll make just notes, it, it, automatic notes. You know, I, I don't want to even think about what I'm writing. Just first thought, bam, put it down, give it a minute, and then go at it again and try and beat the first thought. But most of the time, intuition, instinct, observation, silence is a very important thing. Stay silent and listen. That's how you find people, That's how you know people. Is part of your method writing like a backstory? Sure, yeah. You need to have some idea of what makes this person the way he is. I figured he'd be someone who doesn't hit the outside much. <laughs> I figured that he would stay inside with his trinkets and his things and his memories and his vision is impaired. You know, he's essentially blind. When the kid first enters and he's completely taken by surprise that I'm feeling his face and saying he's the spitting image of his father and I can't see an inch in front of me. From that to suddenly taking control of the guy, you know, because he's a bill collector, right?